And we are done. This is part three of cooking today's source of meals for the day. I'm going to eat off of this all day probably. It took about an hour to prepare, but I was doing a tutorial at the same time, of course. And I also did some stuff that you normally wouldn't do. And oh my god, that come, came out wonderfully. Look at that. That egg is perfect. Yeah, so one minute should be good. Actually, well, yeah, maybe that egg needs a little more time, actually. Uh, yeah, so it's just because it was sitting on top of the other ingredients. That's That affects it a lot. As if you, uh... Yeah, it affects it a lot if you put it on top of the other ingredients. So yeah, if you put it on top of the other ingredients, maybe two minutes is okay. But if it's like mixed in with the other ingredients, that's going to be about... It's going to be about two minutes probably. Let's see if that works. Okay, well a brief update. It's also important to make sure you add more water in there every time you do some more cooking in here. Because this thing does rely on steaming basically to cook. So if you don't add more water in there whenever it needs it, it does end up burning. Which, which it shouldn't have burned too badly. It tends to do the food burn warning a lot, a lot earlier than before it burns real badly. But yeah, it does smell like it did burn a bit down there, so let's make sure we get that taken care of. Yeah, but it looks like the egg is good, I think. Yeah, the egg is good, I think. Yeah, that's that's fine. And the food is burned, but barely, so still edible. And we can then add the seasoning and the yogurt in. And we are done. I just need to scoop. So for scooping it, if you have a big spoon, I recommend just using a big spoon or a ladle or whatever, but I don't have that, so we can just use the little spoon plus the spatula and then just kind of scoop with both. So like that. Ugh! Oh my god. My, I just kicked my cat real hard. That was bad. Ugh. Sorry, Rusty. But yeah, you can just... that. Start scooping it out. Grab those eggs first. Nice and gentle. Dump those in there. Just like that. And then if the food burned, you can just start scraping it a little bit. It did burn to the bottom a bit, so it is a little bit more burnt than I was expecting, but it's still fine. It's still definitely edible and 100% nutritionally valuable compared to other food that might not be, and it's barely burned. It's mostly fine. It's just more burned than I expected. And then, yeah, looks good. It smells good. It's got that savory smell as well as the cocoa makes it smell kind of sweet. We can also add a little bit of sweetness to it if we want since it's mostly fat based. And yeah, it just fills a bowl right up nice and well. And we can add yogurt to make it, uh, to cool it off faster for one and for two to add more calories. And sauerkraut on top as well as the yogurt. And we might end up eating most of this towards the beginning of the day, but we can always eat the cookies too. That might help hold us over some more. Just like that. And this is actually a lot of food. I might actually be able to eat off of this for a decent while. So there it is. An all veggie, all fat based meal. And 
and just to keep it from burning. You can bring your water over. This is purified water, by the way. I purified it with my zero water filter and poured it in here. And then you just grab it and just pour some in there. Just keep it from burning. As much as it takes. There it is. And then you should be good to set it to the keep warm setting. The keep warm setting doesn't burn it nearly as easily because it's, you know, warm instead of Instapot temperature. So you just hit the keep warm setting until it's at the level you want. This is less, normal, and more. I think it'd be best to put it on the less setting because we're just trying to keep it warm. We're not trying to cook anything. So that's just fine at the lowest setting. And we can just kind of mix it around a little bit, try to scrape this shit off the bottom so it doesn't burn anymore. It doesn't have to be perfect though. And then And then you're done. You can grab this, put it back, bring your shit over here, put away your eggs. And I've also got this frosting from yesterday that I can add on top of those cookies that I've got for dessert. And then bring the eggs over. And... That is pretty much my whole routine for myself that I like to do. I like to eat a healthy meal and do a healthy workout and then produce content while I'm doing it and that's pretty efficient. Because this content is the best kind of content, is the kind where you just get to see behind the scenes how it works. Because this is what you need to be able to do if you want to reap any value yourself from it, is learn how I reap value from my own philosophies in real time. So this is ideal for you. And... Yeah, then we've just got all our seasonings. They're already set up in this room. Like, I like to just store them over here next to where I, I sit. I do have a little bit of trash still here that I haven't cleaned up yet, but I'm going to clean that up later after I'm done eating. Like some cat food, but my cat eats so much food that it's sometimes a little hard to keep on top of all of it. But yeah, that is the meal done. And I've got that, I've even got that chocolate bar. It's 90% dark, <laughs> ready for some extra dessert, as well as fat based healthy food that's not really sugary at all. This whole bar, I think, has like four grams in it or something. Yeah, okay, I think it's got like six grams of sugar. It's still, that's like not much. So there's about six, 6.5 grams in there in the whole bar. I'm probably not gonna eat the whole bar today. So yeah, that's the whole process, just cataloged of my routine, my workouts, and my um, meals and how I do it. If you want to benefit in the same ways and just be nutritionally benefited by all of it. Let me show you what spices I plan on adding to this one as well. It doesn't matter too much what spices you go with as long as you shake it up and then you like do new ones each time of some sort. You don't have to do you don't have to use new spices entirely and not ever use the same spice twice in a row. In fact I use a lot of the same spices twice in a row but it's good to add a couple new ones in each new day. So like I like to use garlic powder pretty regularly of course and then I've got this big old spice bag here that I like to just use and keep on hand next to me. Got the basil. Let's add basil. I haven't had that in a minute. And then we got the turmeric. That's really good. You want to have a lot of that. And then we should have some black pepper somewhere up here or around here somewhere. I do have quite a lot of black pepper, so we should be good there. And I have quite a lot of cumin, so I've been trying to use a lot of cumin. I've got like four jars of it or something. And then we can add some mustard seed. So now we've got the turmeric, the basil, the mustard seed, the black pepper, the cumin, and the garlic. And that's good, honestly, by itself, but it's nice to add some extra exotic stuff in there, like su sumac, sumac, however you want to pronounce it, both ways are correct, and then 
that adds a really nice like uh, zingy flavor to it that's kind of like savory but also adds like a little bit of freshness and tastes fresh taste makes it taste like more like it's just mixed in with all these fresh veggies that just have this zing to it sumac's probably my favorite spice honestly i'm surprised at myself i haven't used it more often lately so let's just add a bunch of that in there it gives it a really nice flavor sumac does and then Then we've got this chocolate milk <laughs> and the mustard seed, ground mustard seed. For people who don't like mustard, you might like it better if you just take some ground mustard seed and add a dash of, their, of it into your food, which is probably a healthier way of eating mustard anyway, because you can't taste it as much. You can still taste it some, but... I think it complements well with like if you just use mustard seed with your dish instead of like mustard sauce if you're not into like just squelching a bunch of fucking wet mustard on everything like the dry mustard powder is a lot more subtle and it's still really healthy and then you got the cumin which we're just gonna dump cumin on there cumin's a good spice that you can just dump a shit ton of it on there and it tastes real good with a bunch on there just like that black pepper of course black pepper every time you have turmeric i want you to have black pepper with it because turmeric is really 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 healthy and then it's a thousand times healthier if you add pepper to it because it increases the absorption rate by a thousand so just add like a dash of black pepper and then a pinch of turmeric to your food and you're like a thousand times a hundred times healthier because turmeric by itself is like a hundred or two hundred times more antioxidants than average food and then black pepper makes it a thousand times more absorbent so if you're just eating turmeric you're going to get those antioxidants but it might not absorb that well and then if you're eating it with the black pepper it's just going to do wonders for your body and it's gonna like help with aging. Like that's why I'm 20, a teenager pretty much. I mean, like I, a lot of people who are in high school mistake me for a high schooler. <laughs> and like a lot of people who do the kind of intense athletics that I do, like their bodies are just totally broken down by this age, but not me. My body's just get gets fresher and younger every day. <laughs> and on that note, let's add some salt as well, actually, and then mix it up a bit. Uh, you don't have to go too easy on the salt if you're if you're doing raw meals every day. You want to get your daily value of salt, and you don't want to like undercut it, but you also don't want to go crazy. So, I'd say maybe like if you're gonna have three meals a day, I'd say maybe like a quarter teaspoon in every meal. So that'll get you maybe like fifteen hundred or two thousand grams total a day, just like or milligrams, just like you're supposed to have. And then you can just mix it up. Or if your body is smaller, you can get like a little bit less than that. And on and dishes that are a little bit smaller than this. And if you want to protect the egg from getting messed up too much, then you just like stir around the egg if you can. If you like to have that sunny side up with the yolk that pops. And there is that, all nice looking, and it's if it falls out of the dish, it's fine. Just grab the little piece and just throw it back in there. If it lands on something that's sanitary, if not, you can just let it go. And I think we can afford to add a little more salt, because I didn't really add a quarter teaspoon. Plus, I have like a really high caloric intake, like I like to get a lot more of this stuff than most people do. So I, I tend to eat like maybe 4,000 calories a day, maybe more, because I, I, I exercise a lot. I'll eat like three steaks in one day, pretty much, and then a bunch of appetizers as well. So there's that. Then you can add some more seasoning in there if you want. 
I'm probably just gonna add some more cumin and salt. I probably added enough of the rest of it. More cumin. Yeah, if you wanna save money on spices, just get stuff that's ground up instead of stuff that's like in leaf form like thyme and basil and stuff. Just get more like cumin and turmeric type spices and sumac and sh stuff like that and black pepper and ground mustard because that stuff like they, they're able to shove a lot more down in there for the same size for the same price for like and get a lot more spice in there per jar. So if you're looking to like get anything in bulk and save money, just stick to the spices that are powdery instead of like basil, which is just like big like chunky leaves that are not that heavy that don't that they can't that they never fit as much in there of so you, you should still get all the different spices and you should still have those leafy spices as often as you feel comfortable getting them but um yeah i mean the, the powdery spices tend to be the healthier ones anyway so you might as well just get bulk bulk of that bulk powder spices if you want to save money on spices and yeah, there's all that. And let's do a taste test real quick. Yeah, that's freaking delicious. So on that note, with love, see you in the next content.